A stalemate in the battle for control of Tikrit, a strategic Sunni city once home to Saddam Hussein. Iraqi forces have been unable to seize more ground as ISIL fights to maintain its grip. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg has our story. The offensive to retake Tikrit is now on hold. At least one Iraqi commander says his troops are waiting for reinforcement. On Wednesday, Iraqi forces and Shiite militia entered the northern city, held by ISIL since June, hoping to regain control. So far, they say they've secured about half in their biggest offensive yet against ISIL. Leading Shiite clerics on Friday called on the government to support those doing battle. The recent victory scored by our fighters against Islamic State militants necessitates that the government pay heed and provide care to all troops. The government should exert utmost efforts to boost the fighters' performance, to safeguard and perpetuate their gains and achievements. They still face hardships like delays to their salaries with unacceptable excuses. The top commander of the Shiite militia on Friday accused the U.S., which was not involved in the Tikrit offensive, of failing to live up to its promises. Hadi al-Amari criticized those who, quote, kiss the hands of the Americans and get nothing in return. Analysts say this further opens the door to Iran. One Iraqi government official speaking on condition of anonymity claimed that Tehran has sold Baghdad more than $10 billion worth of weapons. The alliance is making some Sunnis in Iraq and the region uncomfortable. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard commander Qasem Soleimani was reportedly seen on the ground in Tikrit overseeing the offensive. The Saudi Foreign Minister Saud al Faisal, a Sunni, said the battle for Tikrit showed Iran was, quote, taking over Iraq. Meanwhile, alliances are expanding on the other side as well. ISIL this week accepted a pledge of loyalty from Nigeria's Boko Haram, saying it shows the so called Islamic State Caliphate now reaches all the way to West Africa. It gives them a little more legitimacy. And since the caliphate's head is off in Iraq and Syria, uh, fighting against the Americans, the Iraqis, the, uh, the Syrian regime, they're not going to interfere very much in Boko Haram's business. So it actually might provide Boko Haram with a little more uh, recruiting leverage among some groups. Both groups have suffered in recent weeks in the face of an increased military offensive and may find new strength in cooperation. Experts say ISIL may also be training Boko Haram fighters. And because it's getting more and more difficult for would-be Islamist fighters to get into Iraq and Syria, more of them may soon be heading to Africa with ISIL's blessings. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Washington.